Goals. The Roadmap to and in Wealth. There is a certain way in which you should set your goals. What are goals really supposed to be for? Goals get you thinking in the right way to wealth. Goals focus your thoughts, format them in the right way for the universe, and keep your images consistent and non-random. Hence, there is a right way to set goals. A lot has been said before on the importance of setting goals. This is nothing new. What you are about to see now, however, is quite likely new to you. You will now see how you should set your goals to get to wealth fast. Setting goals is well enough, but setting goals correctly is tremendously powerful. Welcome to the world of powerful goals. Your goals are the prophecies of what you shall one day become. If you do not know where you are going, you will end up exactly there. Where? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. If you have no specific goals, you will get no specific results. Remember, the source takes your thoughts, your images of your mind, and manifests them into your reality. You see exactly how this happens scientifically in the quantum physics chapter. But your thoughts and images are the blueprint by which your world is designed and created by and for you. Goals are planned thoughts, directed thoughts. Without planned and directed thought, your life will be unplanned and undirected, seemingly haphazard and seemingly unreliable. Simply know where you are going and the answers as to how you will get there will come to you in their own time. Do not worry about it. Simply believe that you will get there. Your ideas, visions, and dreams, whatever they may be, are the prophecies of what you shall one day become and achieve. You can predict your outer life tomorrow by looking at your inner self today. You can change your tomorrow by changing your inner self today. Take goals seriously. A 20-year study involving students in a certain Ivy League university in the USA traced the lives of one graduating class. 3% of that class had their own written goals at the start of the study. By the end of the 20 years, that 3% who started with written goals and plans were worth more financially than the other 97% combined. They also reported more satisfaction and joy with their lives. The visionaries and dreamers of the world are the saviors and driving force behind it. These are the inventors, artists, philosophers, educators, sages, business people, designers, scientists, leaders, and so on. Anyone who dreams big and creates. The world lives in their ideas and ways and it cannot let their ideas die fruitlessly. The world is beautiful because of the dreamers and visionaries. The world and the universe as a whole are in full support of these dreams if only the dreamer were to believe this and act that way. The universe, the world, the source, God, is friendly and supportive of your dreams and aspirations. Simply have a vision, believe in that vision, and you will without fail realize it to the extent that you will believe you will. All else is in your favor. So, dream very big. Dream very, very big indeed. Conformity can be your worst enemy. If you do what the crowd does, you will get what the crowd gets. Every day, people get up in the morning, go to work like everyone else, and do things like everyone else. But ask them why they do it, and they just do not really know. They just work hard all day because everyone else does, and their reason for working is that they wish to pay their bills and provide for themselves and their family. If you are 30 years old, working hard like everyone else, like the rest of the crowd, and that is all you are doing, you can easily tell, roughly, where you will be in life when you turn 50 by looking at the 50-year-old crowd today. Are most 50-year-olds today financially independent or wealthy? No, they are not. The vast majority of people today are not wealthy or financially independent. But they could be. If only they just did not follow the crowd just because it's the way that it is done. To get something better than the crowd gets, you have to do one thing differently. And that is to have specific goals, reasons, visions, and wealth consciousness. By reading this book, you have started to do something different in wealth causing. By practicing it daily, you complete the requirements for wealth. Realistically speaking, you can be self-made wealthy and financially independent even at 18 years of age or less. It all depends on how early, strongly, accurately, and believingly you start setting your goals, envisioning, and wealth consciousness building. Hard work alone is not the key to wealth. People have gotten wealthy with and without hard work. Wealth consciousness as a whole is the key, and goal setting in the right way is the map. There's a mistake that some people make when they achieve their goals. This mistake takes them back down. 
The best way to understand this mistake is to illustrate it. Let's say that a person has a goal of having a million dollars in their bank account soon, and now they have $4,000 in their account. So they do all the right things, set their goals, visualize, get certain, act, and do all that. They keep their vision of that million high, and they achieve it. Now when that account shows $1 million, they get happy, of course, then they start the mistake. And that mistake is that they now start looking at the bank account, trying to maintain their precious old goal, worrying when it drops below their goal level, and so on. They switch their sight from that of an unachieved higher goal, and they start looking at the achieved past goal. They start living in the past, trying to maintain the past. Then they start worrying, and it goes on like that until they lose that million. They stop doing what they were doing right in the first place to get to their goal and they start living as they used to. Always set your goals higher than your present reality. This does not mean that you are never to be satisfied with your achievement. This does not mean that you should get greedy. No, on the contrary, it means that you should enjoy every day without worry. You should not worry about losing what you got. You should not worry about maintaining that million you just made. Instead, make the million, enjoy making it and having it, but when you reach that million, do not switch to worrying about keeping it. Instead, set a new, higher goal and have your eye on that new goal, but enjoy your old successes without a worry of maintaining them. In any case, it is folly to worry, as the worry itself is what would bring you down. Wealth consciousness and all its activities are a lifestyle, not something you do occasionally. Your thoughts, being, and goals should always be on the next grander version of you, not on the past version. Be careful of how you set your goals and visions. The heart, also called the subconscious, has a tendency to take in and internalize the unnegated part of a vision.